Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes bro. Okay, right. So as far as the slide is concerned, let me go here. Our our uh, our course is TST three two seven three. Uh, we, this is a three credit, yeah, three credit course. Uh, what we're going to to do is we have uh, two hours of lecture and one hour of tutorial. For this week, yeah, we only do the lecture, okay. Uh, and tutorial, uh, you spend your tutorial time on assignments that will be uh, will be. Uh, given to you today so you uh, you spend your time on the assignment okay so as you know i am uh, your lecturer uh, one of the lecturer in this course and the two is uh, uh, associate professor dr suzaima and dr muslia wo okay so i am uh, professor emeritus uh, datuk tunku muhammad tunku sembok so call me prof or prof tunku and there is my uh, phone number over there. Yeah, you can uh, WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp me. Uh, you can email. There is my personal email as well as my official email at UPMM. So maybe this group uh, you can form a, a WhatsApp group. Yeah, uh, WhatsApp chatting group for this. Uh, uh class okay who who the monitor of the class hello you know who the monitor of the class? Azizi, prof. oh you mean i see prof azizi prof azizi okay azizi can you yeah can you uh -huh. uh, make sure we have a form a whatsapp group for this class hmm. okay sure okay. Uh, let me download the attendant yeah now so you can uh, also come to my office, yeah, at uh, PKS, yeah, ground floor, yeah, at PKS ground floor. So yeah, uh, all of you are invite, invited to my yeah to my office. Okay, uh, come in a, a group of you know five uh, to ten uh, people, yeah. Then you can have a coffee in my room, okay. Right. Yeah. So and why I, I, it didn't show the full screen? Let's see. Yeah. Why it didn't show the full screen? Yeah. Let me take check first. No, this not this one. Go on. Yeah. Let me go again. Let me go again. Oh. Oh yeah. Just now it's, it's there. Just now it's there. Try again. Try again. Right. Try again. What happened? Simon. Yeah, this one. I want that one. Yeah. Go on. It'll take a while. Right. Hmm? Go to slide. One of one. Can you can you see the full slide? Hello? No. no. Yes, bro. Okay. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Eh? You got to bear for a while. Okay. Hi. Pre uh, presenter view. I Okay, all right, can you see? No, let's see. Mm. Not this one. So, sorry, sorry, I got, I got, I got the booky here. Let me try again. Oh dear. OK, 
okay, okay, okay. What is this? What is this? I want this one. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, are eh? I'm not sure why it becoming like this. Why it becoming like this? Can you see? No. Hello? Can you see the slide? Uh, no, bro. Hmm? No, bro. No, huh? Okay, let me try again. Uh, let me try again. I will. Yeah, let me try. I know. I don't know what happened. Microsoft team. What I do is. Uh, I open uh, here. TST three two seven three kecil sambatan, Prof. Do what? Okay. Can you see? No. Can you see this one? No. Can you see? Um, see what exactly? Hmm? Um, what are we supposed to see? Hmm? Can or not? What are we supposed to see, uh, Prof? Uh, okay. Uh, T... TST three two seven three. Yep, we see it. Huh? Uh, yeah, I, yes, see it. Yeah, I see it. I see yeah. it, Prof. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you, you, uh, my name over there, my phone number, my email, okay, my office, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, Hello, see it, Prof. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and also the assignment. Okay, the way to send uh, your assignment. Okay. Okay, you can uh, submit your assignment through uh, submit submit your assignment to e-learning system. Okay. Yeah, in a in a file, digital file. So uh, the naming of assignment. Yeah. You you start with your uh, metric number. And then your group, yeah, two TSK one or two uh, TSK two and whatnot, and followed by your full name. Okay, you got it. Yes, Hello. Prof. Yes, bro. Okay. Yes, bro. Ah, you got it. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, and then uh, late submissions not tolerated. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is my uh, my. Uh, I stopped giving lecture for a few years, okay? Maybe for, uh, for five years I stopped giving lecture. So now, uh, since I'm not holding any post, any managed uh, manage, uh, manage post anymore now, so I'm back uh, to lecturing, yeah? Before that, as you know, I was the uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academy and uh, <coughs> Internal Internal intern, internalization, okay? Yeah, and also uh, a brief uh, history of my career life. Uh, I came from UKM, yeah? I spent 30 years in UKM as the head department, as the dean of ICT, and then uh, I was seconded to, uh, in two, 2007, eh? I was uh, seconded to UPMM uh, to help in development of academic program. Yeah, I stayed 2007 to 2010, and then I went back to UKM for a year. Then I went to uh, UIA, University Islam, uh, University Antarabansa Islam, okay, for two years as the dean of uh, ICT, and then I was called back to UK, UPMM in 2013, and I became a TNC again until last two months, okay, for uh, nearly six years. Okay, so uh, I've been teaching 
uh, degree in computer science, supervised PhD and master student in uh, computer science. Okay, that is a little bit of my career life as academic, and, and also work in industry in IBM, in uh, Rubber Research Institute, in Prime Minister Department, in uh, Desperate Nuclear Physics Lab in UK, yeah, um, and also in Permodalan National Bahad. Yeah, so. Anyway, that is a little bit on myself. So uh, come and see me, okay? And we can uh, know each other better, okay? So now I going to. We are going to our first uh, lecture. Let me go to the 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 PowerPoint. Yeah, the PowerPoint. Okay, you got to. Tolerate a bit because I'm new to this system. Yeah. All right. Okay. I got this artificial intelligence. Maybe you haven't, you cannot see it yet. Let me, uh, let me share it with you. Mm, let me share it. Okay, let me share it with you. Right, this one. Okay, can you see the slide? Artificial intelligence and intro and introduction. Yes, Paul. Yes, okay, Paul. Yeah, yes, okay, that is what we're going to do today. Okay, an introduction to AI. So, what is AI? Okay definition of AI. So briefly, let me see what the note say. OK, uh, by the way, this note uh, uh, written by Savio Vita. OK. Uh, OK, he say here, a machine that mimic cognitive function. Yeah, that means uh, uh, artificial intelligence is not real intelligence, it's an artificial. Uh, at, at, at the intelligence shown by computers, by any uh, artifact or by system that mimic, yeah, mimic, meniru, uh, try to mimic, uh, meniru cognitive function. Cognitive is the 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 the, the, the brain capability uh, capability of human being, yeah. Mental uh, capability of human being, uh, cognitive function. Okay. Uh, uh, what the philosopher uh, are saying that uh, to define intelligence. Before we go to artificial int intelligence, let look at intelligence itself. So uh, many scholar uh, saying that we cannot define intelligence uh, directly. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you uh, you try to think uh, what do you uh, how you can define intelligence? Yeah. So uh, uh, try to read yeah what uh, the scholar was saying uh, uh, how to define intelligence. So if we cannot define intelligence directly, then they say we can define intelligence indirectly through behavior. Yeah, behavior of anything. Uh, that mean how uh, something, uh, the, the attribute, the property of something, right? Yeah, look at the property, uh, at what uh, individual yeah thing can do. Yeah? Uh, there's one uh, definition saying that if computer to have intelligence then computer must be able to understand natural language yeah computer must be able to understand uh, english malay chinese yeah whatever language if the computer through it, it behavior through it property uh, computer uh, understand natural language then uh, we can say uh, computer have 
a kind of intelligence. Yeah. Um, uh, if you go to Google, you Google Sarah, yeah, a robot. Yeah, uh, a female robot by the name of Sarah. How uh, Sarah respond to question asked to her and how Sarah uh, be able to reply back. OK, by that uh, behavior, uh, we can say that Sarah inherit uh, some kind of intelligence. OK, uh, there's one uh, definition of uh, intelligence. OK, in computer science, artificial intelligence research is defined as the study of intelligence agents. Any device that perceive it environment. OK, a device perceive, yeah, they sedar tentang persekitarannya, yeah. Perceive it environments and take action, yeah. Yeah, it uh, uh, not only perceiving, but be able to take action that maximize each chance of success at some goal. Just imagine, are you going to have a robot, yeah, which can help you in the kitchen, yeah? we we'll do washing of dishes, we we'll do a cooking, okay, of any uh, food that you like, okay? For a robot to move around the kitchen, therefore the robot must be able to perceive the environment of the kitchen, okay? Where the tables, where the knife, the spoon, the fork, uh, the cooker, uh, how to on the cooker. So there is awareness, yeah? Awareness of its environment. And also be able to take action, yeah? Where to go uh, to make, for example, uh, nasi ayam, okay? Uh, you're not only perceiving the environment, but also to take action. So uh, that's what it meant, okay? Awareness as well as to take action. Robot uh, without taking action uh, is useless robot, okay? It's just a toy, okay? So uh, uh, taking action to fulfill the function, okay? So that's roughly, uh, something about uh, then cognition okay so you you go to google and and uh, if you google what is a uh, cognition let me uh, let me try here if i go to okay if i put here yeah cognition what does it tell me yeah? cognition the meaning of cognition, yeah. One, well, he said, yeah, uh, cognition, the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding, yeah, understanding through thought, experience, and senses. Okay, so that is quite a good uh, definition of uh, cognition over here. Okay, let me cut and paste over there. Go back to your slide. Where is it? All right. Where is my where is my note now? Where is my note? Yeah. Okay, cognition. All right. So yeah. Uh, as I read to you, it's a process. Eh? The, the, the thinking process of understanding. Uh, through experience, through senses, okay? So, uh, can a computer do that? We know that a computer has a vision, yeah? Uh, as your own eye. Uh, can computer read, yeah? Can uh, computer read and understand? Can computer uh, be able to understand question that you ask the computer? Okay, can the computer uh, give the answer in writing or verbally, okay? That um, comprises, yeah, the domain of uh, cognition. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I got, I got a call here. Yeah, so I go? Yeah. Bisu, 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 bisu. Bisu, uh, Side the hull up. 
Okay, kenapa tu? Ya. Oh, di mana? Oh, dengan siapa? Sekali lagi, eh. sekali lagi saya, saya balas balik ya. Eh. Alright, ya. Okay, okay, go. Okay, sorry ya. Eh. Uh, right, uh, let, let, let me uh, continue cognition. Okay, is the process of thinking, understanding, uh, uh, solving problem and whatnot. Okay, uh, the brain, eh, the, the mental, uh, mental process of the brain, uh, recognizing. Uh, your environment, uh, you have a, uh, you have calculator here, you have a, uh, uh, a clock here. Okay, what the purpose of the clock to show your time? Okay, and you have uh, an apple, and poor, uh, what the use of apple is for your lunch, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and you also uh, recognize faces. Yeah, recognize faces of uh, individual around you. So there is a part of let, let's go to the history of artificial intelligence. In the year 1956, yeah, in Dartmouth College in USA, uh, there is a conference that was held between, I think, uh, between uh, around 10 people. Okay, so these are those who was involved in the conference. John McCarthy, yeah, uh, Marvin Minsky. Yeah, uh, Clark Shannon, uh, uh, Ray uh, Salomonov, uh, Alan Newell, Herbert Simon, Arthur Samuel, and so forth. Yeah. So yeah, I was lucky. I I, I met this uh, Marvin Minsky in one of the conference. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure whether he stayed around or not. Okay. So that is in 1956. Uh, in this conference, they call it AI Winter Conference. Eh? It's known now, eh? AI Winter Conference. In this conference that they coined, okay, the, the keyword, uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, and they went, uh, they having this conference a few times, okay, uh, to discuss about, uh, uh, about artificial intelligence. Right. <laughs> We say that uh, intelligence, artificial intelligence, uh, or intelligence, we cannot define uh, directly, but we can define through behavior of a machine. So in 1950, Alan Turing, yeah, Alan Turing uh, uh, proposed what he called Turing test. You go to the internet and read about Turing test. Basically, Turing test is uh, to to test whether a computer can bluff a human being. Uh, uh, that's the computer is human. Okay. Uh, for example, through a chatbot. Yeah. Through a chatbot, the person on the other side, you don't know okay, whether uh, humans or computer. Okay. And you on this side. When you do the chatting, question and answer, yeah, you dwell into the set as uh, into the chatting. Whether you think the other side is a human or not, if you think the other side is human, but actually it's not, it's not a human. Therefore, that computer pass Turing test. That mean yeah, the computer be able to bluff a human. Uh, saying that it is a computer. OK, that is a uh, Turing test. So there was a, a price. I don't know, maybe until now of one million US dollar, whoever to design a computer can do this bluffing. OK. Uh, uh, for a computer to imitate, uh, to mimic human being. So uh, there's another effort by uh, Herbert Simon, yeah, Herbert Simon and Alan Newell uh, together with Cliff Shaw. Okay, uh, they wrote um, they wrote uh, a set of program AI program to solve 
theorem, eh, to solve theorem, yeah, uh, in given in Principia Mathematica, okay. So that is mathematic theorem, yeah, uh, that you can prove whether that theorem is correct, true or not, okay. So of course, a mathematician can prove it, yeah, uh, doing uh, the mental cognition, yeah, human intelligence to prove the theorem, but whether the computer can prove it too or not. So, uh, so these three scholar written AI program to solve 38 of the first 52 theorem, yeah. Uh, Principia Mathematica is a set of uh, volumes, a uh, uh, few volumes of books, okay, written by uh, Bertrand Russell. Okay, Bertrand Russell, a professor of mathematics and philosophy in the University of Cambridge. Okay, a very intelligent uh, guy. Uh, little bit on Bertrand Russell. Bertrand Russell uh, born uh, in the house of law. Uh, the father is an uh, aristocrat of British, and he didn't go to school, but be taught by tutors at home. So his father called uh, Chegu Chegu, yeah, a tutor to come to their house and taught. Um, you know, uh, given lesson lesson to uh, Bertrand Russell. Yeah. After that, he took uh, exam school examination and went to Cambridge University and uh, done his PhD and became a professor in the Cambridge University. So that is uh, Bertrand Russell. There are many books, and there is uh, I think two or three volumes of collection of his letter. So he liked to write let, uh, letters every day. Every day he, he, he wrote letters sent to his friends and to his family. Then he compiled this letter and now uh, became, I think, two volumes of book. Okay, So maybe uh, some of you might uh, acquire the habit of writing something every day and keep it yeah, when you uh, you get all like me, and then that uh, that uh, piece of your writing uh, worth million. Eh? If you are a famous guy, okay, that is how uh, famous people they spend their life. Okay, uh, another guy, Arthur Samuel, uh, wrote uh, Game of Checker, okay, which is intelligent. That self learning, eh? self learning. Yeah, uh, how program can learn by itself through uh, experience. Eh? Uh, now, after AI, from AI we have expert system. Okay, expert system is AI program that simulated the knowledge and analytical skill of human expert. Okay, the famous system, uh, expert system is MyCIN. M Y C I N. Yeah. And was a my scene. My scene is to diagnose uh, patient. Okay, what kind of disease that patient is having? And nowadays you can have uh, to diagnose COVID-19 uh, by look at the symptom of the patient, and then you can conclude. Uh, this software can conclude uh, whether uh, the patient having COVID-19 or not. Okay. And another famous uh, uh, example, the earlier example of specialist is prospector. Prospector, I think, to to do some prospecting on iron ore or gold. Eh? Yeah, that means uh, you use this system uh, to do prospecting, whether uh, somewhere having uh, having the uh, deposit of gold or iron ore or not. So yeah, and then uh, in in Stanford University the. Uh, there, uh, there are famous uh, AI lab, artificial intelligence lab. Okay, if you have, uh, you got a chance, you score good result, yeah, uh, of your first degree, yeah, uh, above 3.5, 3.5 above, 
probably you can apply a place to do your master degree in Stanford and M MIT. So people go over there, uh, not so much of education per se, okay, but to experience the life, the environment in MIT and Stanford, okay? Okay, if I ask, uh, if I ask you why you go to Starbucks, why you go to uh, Coffee Bean, whereby in Starbucks you pay you know, 14, 14 ringgit for a cup of coffee. Kedah Mama, how much you spend for a cup of coffee? One ringgit and fifty cents, sir. Yeah, one ringgit. One ringgit. Yeah, one ringgit and fifty cents. Sir. Ah, one ringgit and fifty cents. Then Starbucks, you 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 spend at least twelve ringgit, right? Yeah, twelve ringgit for a small cup, a grande <laughs> cup. You spend fourteen ringgit. Yeah, uh, not so much for the coffee. Yeah, but for the environment and beyond. Yeah, uh, yeah. the ambient. Uh, the environments of Starbucks. Yeah, so uh, people go to Stanford and MIT. They want they went over there to see the and beyond the culture. Okay, there are many uh, many students at Stanford. They are uh, the developer of uh, billion dollar application, the killer app. Hmm? Now they uh, they call it billion yeah, billion dollar yeah billion dollar app. Okay, can you name a few uh, the graduate or the dropout of Stanford University that make billion? Can you name a few? Okay, Tamizi, Muhammad Tamizi. Muhammad Tamizi. Hello, hello. Muhammad Tua. Muhammad Aizat. I don't know, sir. You don't know? Do you know Facebook? Yeah. Yes, sir. You know Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Ah, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. Oh, he's, a, he's, a drop, he's a drop out of uh, Stanford, right? He's a drop out of uh, Stanford, but he made billions, yeah? Because uh, Facebook is a billion dollar application okay um who else what about google yeah who invented google yeah anybody knows who invented google hello fatin fatin do you know who invented fatin shakira who invented google yeah now Google, <laughs> Google. Larry Google Page, who? sir. Yeah. Who? Larry Page. Larry Page. And his partner? His partner, wait, sir. Sergey. Sergey Spring Prof. Sergey Spring Prof. Sergey Brings. Sergey Brings. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Larry Page. Okay. Uh, Larry Page. Uh, he also a uh, drop up of a uh, PhD program. Okay, he went to uh, Stanford to do his PhD. Okay, but in the, uh, so uh, Google supposed to be his thesis. <laughs> okay, and then uh, he makes a uh, million million. So when the supervisor asked him whether he come back to to Stanford or not, he said thank you, sir. I'm not coming back. <laughs> right, that kind of thing. Okay. So are those people, right, yeah, who made their uh, billion, not only million, that billion of ringgit. So that means uh, you can you can be the next yeah, millionaire, the next billionaire of Malaysia if you think, uh, if you have idea. Okay, now let's talk about that. Okay, how to be entrepreneur okay how to be entrepreneur okay let's discuss what do you need to make 
a billion dollar ad, the killer application. Any idea? Yeah, any idea? The first thing <laughs> you must be in a right program of learning. Eh? Uh, you all of you in computer science now. Computer science is a is a field that be able to produce millionaire. Okay, therefore, the first requirement you are in the right program of study, computer science. Okay. Yeah, you agree with me? Agree, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, bro. Yes, sir. 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 In order to be a, a, a billionaire, hmm? um, is sir, uh, because AI is the future of uh, the world, prop. So I think uh -huh. is uh, we can uh, study in AI to create many AI robots or AI devices so that we can be rich also. Yeah. Okay. So they say that you must be in the right uh, field of studies. I think you are ah. all in the right field. Number one, okay. okay yes, number two, uh, you got to have idea, idea of creating something, yeah. Uh, system which is uh, can be used for, can be used by masses, yeah. Uh, that means uh, all over the world, okay. We need your app, uh, not only. Uh, maybe just used by lecturer, just used by, uh, let's say, lawyer, uh, but this used by everybody. Okay, the application, for example, like uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, WhatsApp used by everybody, right? Yeah. Yes. Even children, small children, we use WhatsApp. Old people use WhatsApp. Doctors, lawyer. Uh, Position and musician and whatnot will use WhatsApp. That means your application is applicable, useful by everybody. That's why, you know, they make a lot of money. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, the next thing which I think is the ease of use. It's very easy. Yeah, to use, uh, for example, uh, WhatsApp is very easy. Okay. Uh, to have a Facebook is also quite easy. Yeah, Facebook used by everybody. Okay, yeah, the businessman. Okay, using Facebook, the student. Yeah, uh, housewife. Yeah, uh, machi 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 machi. Okay, your grandmother, your grandfather, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't have Facebook anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah and uh, easy to use. Uh, that's why uh, WhatsApp is very, very uh, popular. It's very easy as compared to email, okay? Yeah, email, uh, you know, tedious, you got to log in, you got to scroll down and out, you know? Uh, it's quite tedious, you got to remember the, e uh, the, the email address, but this, yeah, just a phone number, okay? Right, so hopefully uh, some of you will be uh, the creator of the yeah, billion dollar app. All right, now we go back to our lecture. Uh, so AI labs, uh, AI winters, so they have a few more uh, conference, 1974, 1987, uh, maybe a few more which is not listed here. So that group of people will come back and to have the discussion on AI. Anyway, um, what has made AI possible? You know, <coughs> last time AI, uh, very popular, and then a certain number of years, uh, not really popular, it went down, popularity went down. But now 
in the world in the era of 4 IR, uh, the fourth industrial revolution, AI came back into the picture. Okay. So because of uh, available availability of data, volumes of uh, data that, uh, that we have now, the data through e-commerce, data to social media, data to many, many system, yeah, data through uh, Google, uh, search engine, yeah, and also the computing power, yeah, our computer becoming uh, powerful and powerful uh, for, for every year, double up. They say that every every 16 months or 18 months, the power of computer is double. There's a Morse law, okay? Uh, more, uh, Morse law, M-O-O-R-E, yeah? Morse law, yeah? You can uh, Google uh, more uh, law, uh, saying that every 18 months, the power of computer double. And so does the uh, the cost of computer uh, went yeah, going down, right? When I was first uh, learning programming uh, in, nine, in 1971, yeah, 1971 uh, whereby I wrote my first program, we used IBM 360, yeah, write it down over there, IBM 360, okay, uh, very big machine, yeah, uh, it, uh, it fit, it must have a room, yeah? quite a big room, yeah, in order to uh, to put this machine and you need an uh, icon, okay, raised floor, and uh, I wrote a page, yeah? uh, a page of program, yeah? the program the size of one page, just one page program, and try to compile it. Eh? I compile it on this IBM 360. So it took me one hour to get compiled. Just compilation, okay? So you can imagine how slow the computer then. Now you can compile in second, yeah? You write your program on the, uh, <clears throat> on the web, and you compile it. And within second, it will compile. Last time it took me uh, one hour to compile a small program. And this computer, the memory size of this computer is only 8K, 8K, eh? 8K. That means 8,000 bit. Okay, 8,000 bit. Yeah? As compared now, I don't know how many gig, how many gigabit, terabit, yeah? uh, the, the computer uh, memory. Yeah? So because of these two things, data, availability of volumes of data, and computing power that make AI now possible, okay? Uh, to go to greater height now. Uh, let's go through uh, several terms that related to uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, after in, uh, artificial intelligence uh, come the, uh, the word Machine learning. Yeah? What is machine learning? Yeah? Give the computer the ability to develop algorithm on their own without being explicitly programmed. The be uh, machine learning, the ability for a computer, yeah? whether a computer can write, develop algorithm uh, on their own. Okay? Or a computer can learn from a lot of data to be intelligent. Like this picture here, a robot reading books and books and books and becoming more intelligent, more intelligent, having more information and, and information. And you can ask this computer anything from what he has read. Okay? So there is machine learning, learning by itself. Okay, learning by itself, all right? And uh, machine learning uh, can be supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning, or reinforcement learning. Okay, this topic will be taught by yeah, Associate Professor Suzaima. Okay, uh, Professor Suzaima will touch on this when he uh, teaching you about uh, artificial neural network. 
Okay. Yeah, artificial neural network. Yeah? Inspired from where? Biological neural network. Okay. So some people uh, postulate, yeah, they, uh, they think, they guess that our brain, yeah, uh, the structure, the architecture of our brain is a kind of neural network. Yeah, neural network whereby we have nodes, billions of nodes in our brain and each node, yeah, interconnected to other nodes. Okay. So there is a model that they dream, they envisage how our brain being structured. From this, yeah, from this structure, we became intelligent. But uh, whether that is true or not, nobody knows. Yeah? Just a model of our brain, okay? Which is, they say, uh, neural network, yeah? Uh, yeah, now instead of brain, people also think uh, some of our uh, our intelligence, our wisdom, not only from the brain, but from our heart. Okay, but yet to be proven, okay, uh, not entirely 100% of our intelligence or our wisdom from the brain. And maybe the heart also played a role. Uh, do the heart have memory? Okay, now the study uh, about heart. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that is a very interest, interesting. Okay, when you you feel sad, you feel happy. From your brain or from your heart? Yeah, that kind of question that you can throw out. Yeah. Now, so uh, this is a basic architecture of neural network. Artificial neural network. We have you have the outer layer, the input layer, and the output layer. Okay, so that means this information coming, yeah, uh, pieces of information as one, as two, as three coming into uh, the neural network, and you got the result uh, from output y, uh, y one and y two. Okay, for example, like uh, uh, you want to recognize uh, a cat. Okay, so yeah, I have two eyes. Then go into this neural network, then the neural will classify, okay, recognize it is a cat. Okay. Uh, the same thing you want to recognize uh, human face. Okay, human face, you input it. Uh, distance between eye, distance between uh, eye and your nose, the tip of your nose, and then distance uh, from your nose to your your lip, yeah, all this information. Okay, and uh, then came here, John, yeah. Uh, this is uh, the face of John, okay. So this uh, can neural network. Then you go to deeper, the, the deep neural network, it's more complex. The hidden layer, instead of one over here, the hidden layer. Here we have many hidden layers. Uh, this more powerful. This because the power of computer is growing. So last time to have the the deep neural net uh, to process is quite slow because of the interlinking between nodes. Now there's no problem, so uh, deep neural net. Then here we look at the history, uh, chronological history of artificial intelligence. It started 1950s, whereby AI winter in 1956. Okay, early artificial intelligence still excitement. People talking about artificial intelligence, intelligence, but some time between in AI. Yeah, but at the same time, machine learning come into the picture. Machine learning begins 
to flourish from 1980s. Okay. And then now 2010, deep learning come into the picture. Okay. Deep learning. And somewhere in, uh, in 20, now it's 2020, uh, 2015, yeah, 4IR, if not mistaken, around uh, 2015, uh, fourth industrial revolution came into the picture, then artificial intelligence. Okay. Cyber physical system. Okay, remember this word, yeah? Cyber physical system. Yeah. That means the software, yeah, uh, have connectivity to physical object. Okay. For example, like in, in manufacturing. Robot now making cars, right? And then you have uh, bionic arms, that kind of thing. In terms of bionic arm, they call it bio, uh, cyber biological you know, system, yeah? Uh, cyber physical biological system. Natural language processing. Remember, uh, in the early part of the lecture, I was saying that if computer be able to understand natural language, therefore, uh, it shows that computer have some kind of intelligence because animal cannot understand natural language maybe one or two words animal can can understand it but not this complicated concept okay of natural language yeah? the concept the meaning yeah and you can uh, articulate knowledge through uh, human language you write books uh, you write books uh, in human language uh, you write books on ai using yeah, human language. Therefore, uh, natural language processing are becoming uh, very important. Okay, a field of computer science, artificial intelligence, and computational linguistic. Okay, uh, in this area, you must uh, computerize grammar, Malay grammar, English grammar, yeah, Indian, Tamil grammar, Chinese grammar. You got to uh, uh, computerize it. And also words, yeah, the meaning of word, the concept of word, okay. So, so they're in the realm of uh, natural language processing. So let people and machine talk to each other naturally. Now with the artificial intelligence, with uh, uh, natural language, suddenly you can speak in Malay with your uh, French. So that is under, yeah, under the topic of natural language processing. Uh, all systems that work together to handle end-to-end -end interaction between machine and human being in the preferred language of human being, right? Now here. Uh, NLP processes uh, turn uh, turn a text into structure structure data. Okay, uh, you can book a train ticket using computer uh, human language. For example, you go to uh, to a kiosk where selling ticket. I need a train to Kano on December eighth. So what the computer does, it translates it into <coughs> yeah. to where to Kano, a city, when December 8th. 
Okay. If you go to your phone and you use Google Voice, yeah, Google Voice, or what they call it, Google Voice, yeah. Uh, okay, I can ask. Hi, Google. Oh dear. Come on. Eh? Let me ask again. Hi. Who is who is the Prime Minister of Malaysia? Oh dear. What happened now? Let me try again. Right. Hi. Who is the Prime Minister of Malaysia? Google the Prime Minister of Malaysia and Google reply Mayude Yassim. Okay. So that means I have to show uh, natural language processing by your phone. I can ask again, hi, who is the wife of the Prime Minister of Malaysia? Okay, Google got this. Eh? Yeah, Google reply, okay. Uh, Noraini Abdurrahman, yeah. So quite interesting, okay. Yeah, demonstrates uh, natural language processing, how uh, a computer can recognize voice. Not uh, they mean hearing words, hear, uh, reading passages, computer be able to understand the semantic, the meaning of word, the meaning of sentence. Uh, it is a specific type of natural language processing. Natural language understanding involves genuinely understanding what the text say. And just now, the, the, the example who is the Prime Minister of Malaysia, the answer from Google is Majidin Yassin. And I ask who is the wife yeah, of this uh, Prime Minister of Malaysia? And he said Noraini. Right? So interesting. So they use this technology in Eliza, uh, Siri, okay, and Google Assistant. Yeah? Okay. So Google Assistant just now, we got the demo to you. And then natural language generation, yeah. So Google Assistant, when you ask Google, there's no uh, generation of uh, voice, internal voice, but generation the answer through text, yeah. That's also how computer can write language, okay. So it turns structure data into text, yeah. Uh, just now uh, we have seen how how the how the uh, how the sentence okay how the sentence here been uh, translate into structured data yeah structured data uh, but in order to produce uh, to generate yeah generate uh, natural language the the, the the other way around from structured data into text, okay? Yeah, this can be your final year, yeah, final year, year project, yeah? How you translate your data in your database to natural language, yeah? It yeah, can be a, a nice project to do. So we have uh, natural language processing is computer reading language. Natural language generation is computer writing language, okay, and computer uh, natural language understanding and computer understand language. Now, application there are many applications sentiment analysis. We have uh, in uh, Pusat Keselamatan Cyber we have lecturer who do sentiment analysis. Uh, Dr. Zuraini uh, have project on sentiment uh, sentiment analysis. Uh, Dr. Sarifa at PKS, Pusat uh, Keselamatan Cyber, uh, tech 
uh, summarization, Dr. Hassan will be able to do that. And then question and answer, we have our master student doing a question answering system. Uh, give a computer to read a passage and you can ask computer any question about the essay. The chatbot, yeah, uh, there's some lecturer here, be able to develop a chatbot, okay? So sometimes you go to chatbot, you thought it's a human being, but eh, unluckily it's not human being, it's just a computer uh, software eh, who imitate to be human being. Computer vision is another topic, yeah. Uh, computer vision, uh, the, the, the electronic eye of computer to recognize them. And we also have electronic nose uh, to smell and to uh, to recognize and to classify gases. Okay. I contribution is object recognition. Hmm? Right. So, uh, for example, like uh, autonomous car, uh, you need to have computer vision. Okay. Yeah, to avoid uh, accident. Okay. So how uh, autonomous car implement uh, computer vision, right? Calibers of AI. Oh, now, uh, this is very interesting. Okay, weak artificial intelligence. Yeah, during my time when I was in university, what we learned about artificial intelligence. Education. Aku okay. uh, ini semua Hello, hello. Who is that singing? <laughs> hello, hello. Are you uh, listening? Okay. Uh, no genuine intelligence or self awareness. Right now, computer playing game, yeah? Deep Blue versus Gary Kasparov. Okay, and uh, Deep Blue defeated Kasparov, is a world champion chess player. Watson uh, won question and uh, and question and answering competition. Okay, so Watson, uh, built by uh, by IBM, won one million US dollar. Okay, in jeopardy and uh, competition. Okay, there is a demonstration of uh, AI. Yeah, and then this AlphaGo play the board game called Go. Okay, Go, uh, and defeated Lee Sado, uh, the champion of uh, uh, Go, uh, Go uh, keyboard uh, game. And then. Uh, yeah, autonomous car, many, uh, many artificial intelligence uh, program in autonomous car. So this, um, how computer recognize picture. So computer say man in black, a uh, man in black shirt is playing guitar. Okay, how clever computer huh? be able to recognize that. This construction worker in orange uh, safety vest is working on road. Yeah, and these two young girls, two young girls, and not boys, but two young girls are playing with Lego doll. So let me just, just uh, to demonstrate how uh, it are really becoming clever and clever. Speech recognition, we taught it before. Yeah, Sarah, Dr. Hassan tried to beat Mina. Uh, Sarah is uh, beat by the Western people. He want to have uh, a robot called Mina. We can speak uh, Malay. Mina stands for Malay intelligent uh, something humanoid. Yeah, yeah, uh, Mina. So it's a shame if we cannot produce yeah any uh, robot or any system which can understand Malay. Okay, Google Translate. How Google Translate? Yeah, over hundred languages. Okay, I used to use this to translate. Uh, and, uh, Google search, yeah, brain, 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 yeah. Uh, earlier, 
algorithm used by Google, they call it bedrock belakang, bedrock gosok belakang algorithm. Okay, uh, there's a meaning of it, gosok belakang. If ramai orang gosok belakang you, that means you are a famous guy. Okay, the same thing. If uh, your website, ramai orang uh, go, yeah, go to your website, then your website is famous, interesting. Okay, so from bedrock, change to RAM. Uh, RAM brain, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, don't, uh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't go uh, deeply on RAM, RAM brain. So Facebook, yeah, and first subject is Amazon, based on your purchase, yeah, you can purchase on book, yeah, it, it uh, you know, it recommend your new book and whatnot, okay? Then we come to strong AI. Uh, this is interesting. Listen carefully. Okay. Now we already got from <coughs> from uh, what called simple AI. Okay. What they call simple AI just now? From uh, from simple AI. Yeah. Uh, from simple AI. Now we go to uh, greater uh, AI. Okay. Which they coin as artificial, artificial general. Human being. Okay. Uh, they say we already reaching to this stage. Yeah. Yeah almost there yeah agi okay artificial greater intelligence yeah? there is a stage computer is uh, as clever as human being a general a very general mental capability that among other things involve ability to reason ability to plan to solve problems think abstractly okay comprehend complex idea okay learn quickly and learn from experience so, that is the intelligent okay this how to test whether uh, we have reached artificial gender intelligence or not okay uh, greater higher than that what's next you imagine if a computer already achieved uh, <coughs> artificial gender intelligence and also to learn by itself recursively okay yeah recursive self-improvement becoming you read your information your knowledge increases and then you become more intelligent more intelligent then you reach an intelligent explosion, not data explosion, but uh, an in technological thing. Yeah, uh, age.
Hello. Kau oh, dah terkeluar dah tu. Kita call balik. Take five good. 